If you like interactive wallpapers, Wallpaper Engine is a must have for you. But you can not only use the hundreds of wallpapers available by the community, you can also make your own and make them audio reactive. My name is Siddullah, you're watching Yandero Technology and in this video, we're going to do just that. So the first thing that you have to do when you fire up Wallpaper Engine is to go all the way to the bottom and click on the Wallpaper Editor. Now this will prompt you to select a wallpaper. So we will go with this really nice Initial D wallpaper that I have with me. And uh, so you can resize it to fit different resolutions. Uh, I'm not going to do that. You can change the project name. So let's call it Initial D Audio Responsive. And then scheme color can be anything. I'll just go with a darker bluish this will take a second to load everything up and you should be good to go all right so now you have a bunch of options here the first thing that we're going to do is uh, find out which part we want to make audio responsive in this particular wallpaper i want to make the car audio responsive so every time an audio effect or music is being played it's the car that's pulsating so click on the add button under effects and then from all of these different effects that we have i'm going to choose pulse it will show you a quick demo of what the effect does and then go down click ok you can also browse the workshop if you want to check out some other effects and even layers and presets that you can quickly use to make your wallpaper go ahead and click ok and now as you can see the whole image is pulsating we don't really want that so uh, the first thing we have to do is in this audio response box, I'm going to make this center. So now this uses the center channel of the audio on my PC to pulsate. And uh, then under opacity mask, go ahead and click the paint button. This will give you some options on the right side. So the amount of uh, and the brush size of the brush, the opacity and the hardness. I'm going to drop down the hardness to zero. And now I'll just Go ahead and paint the effect onto the car. You can click this show mask button just to see where you are painting. So as you can see, I have kind of spilled over here a little bit. So I can go ahead and clear this. So you can either have uh, the inverse effect. So for example, let's just go ahead and wow, that was weird. Let me just rephrase. Yeah, so once you're done making your button selections or um, the figuring out the size of your brush and everything, just click on this show mask button. And now you can paint your effect on the car. So just trying to make sure we get an even outline here. All the way across to the bumper. Cover all the gaps. Cover the tires. The dark part of the body. The silencer. The wheels there. And uh, then click OK. So now I can make uh, changes to the shader and if I play any audio on my system, this should react technically. So yeah. I've muted the sound, but uh, you can still see that my car is now fluctuating to whatever music I'm playing in the background. You'll probably not be able to hear the music and you'll probably not be able to hear my sound as well because I'll have to mute out this part because of copyright issues. But um, as you can see, it does now respond to audio. And uh, that's really all that there is to it. Uh, once you're done with this, you're pretty much good to go. You can add other effects like uh, for example, you can choose the blend mode, you can add a name to this layer, you can go down, uh, you can change the tint highs and lows, the frequencies, the audio exponent, you can play around with this stuff. 
but uh, that is pretty much it you're done so so if you go back to your image now and now you can choose to add more effects or you can just export your wallpaper so you can go ahead click on the file option and then you can click on apply wallpaper to apply this wallpaper or you can just save it as a wallpaper engine file if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video